YouTube for the sexiest mac and cheese you've ever done seen in your entire life. Stay tuned to this video. Don't go nowhere. It's about to get spicy. What up, fam, bam, how are you doing? This is Modernly Kitchen, giving you the keys to make sure that your kitchen stays blessed with no stress. We're back today with a wonderful recipe that has been requested by a viewer, a viewer's choice. Yes. This viewer's choice video suggestion was brought to us by Cynthia on Facebook for the ultimate, decadent, tempting, and radiant mac and cheese. Five cheeses to be exact. Five cheeses. Put your finger on. Stop this is a new series that we actually starting to get more engaged with the people that are following us if you guys would like to be featured in our next viewers choice video be sure to like us on the Facebook page it will be linked in the description and somewhere on this video and send us a message we want to hear from you guys leave us a comment down in the comment section below Girl, I saw before the video make sure you subscribe and follow at Kirsty Rooks Izzy Lee Media on Instagram see what Modern League Kitchen does outside the kitchen tell them babe what we about to do Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese! Ghost choice! <laughs> I used <to> curry! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to make this mac and cheese. And we're gonna wanna boil this, so we're gonna put it on nice and high. Oh yeah, there's a light. Salt that water. A key here I always like to go by is you want your water to taste like the ocean. And if you haven't tasted did the ocean just know it's salty? Today <laughs> for this video we are using penne pasta. I like elbow macaroni, but this is what we had in our pantry. So we're gonna use that. We're just gonna let this boil until it's al dente. With pasta, you want to continuously stir your pasta so it doesn't stick to the pot and just to break it around because you don't want them to stick together. Our pasta is doing very nice. We're gonna just remove it from the heat and strain it. There we go. We're gonna start on the rim. So we're gonna put butter. in our butter. Sorry. Our three tablespoons of butter. I don't want that to melt down. Three tablespoons of flour. You're just gonna constantly stir it. You're gonna want all that flour to like meld together. And now you're gonna go in with your milk. Hopefully your milk is at room temperature because I find that this works together. But if it's not at room temperature, that's totally fine too. You never want to not stir your roux and your sauce. Your flour is going to stick to the bottom of the pan and if you're not stirring, it's going to burn. Don't nobody like brunt mac and cheese. And as it heats up, it's gonna thicken up. So if this looks like a lot of milk, I mean, just wait and see. Next, we're going to add our seasoning. I'm gonna start with the nutmeg. I'm gonna go in with some garlic powder. Eight. In with pepper. You can use white pepper if you don't like the contrast. Next spice ingredient is the sea salt. So you're just gonna put in a little, because I seasoned the pasta enough. I'm gonna give this a gentle stir. It's time for the cheeses. We have some Munster cheese, Gouda. We have Parmesan. We have cheddar. I don't really know where the Gruyere is, but it's in here. I swear to God it is. Take a handful of each and put it in. I'm not putting it all in because I still need to top the mac and cheese afterwards. If your mac and cheese is not going into the oven, it's not mac and cheese. Mm. This is a good, good sauce. Dickums. Now we're gonna add our pasta in. One pasta sticks together like oh. this. Do what you can to break apart the pasta. You want all of this beautiful sauce to get in between these noodles. Gonna add the rest of your mixed cheeses on top. And into the broiler we go. I don't know why our broiler is this low. It makes no sense to me. But we're just gonna put it in for a few minutes and continuously check to make sure that it's not too brown on top. And there you have it, the best five cheese mac and cheese. I'm so excited to taste. We're just gonna move and do a taste test real quick. All right, all right. Cue the sexy music. I've heard people say that too much of anything. That's good. 
Let me tell you something right now. After watching this video, you are going to get an uncontrollable sensation that will go from the bottom of your spine all the way to the top of your neck. This mac and cheese, this is sexy. But that is it from your favorite couple in the kitchen. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video as well as follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well. You could be the next viewer's choice. Again, shout out to Cynthia for this video idea. And as always, stay blessed. Don't stress. We better do some things to this. Some things. Get over here, girl.